Hi guys, this is Sai Kumar Kurtiwada. In this video, we will learn about nested routes in standalone approach. In my previous video, I have explained clearly about how to use nested routes in modular approach. That means we'll have modules and how to use it. As from Angular 15, standalone components became more stable. So we are trying to use this nested routes over the standalone approach. In the future, after this 15 we may completely adapt to the standalone approach and the modular approach can be deprecated slowly so as of now there is no announcement from angular that they will deprecate the modular approach but they are suggesting us to use standalone approach so let me go into visual studio code here we need to concentrate on three things one is the lazy loading and the second is how to use your standalone components and third one is how to use this as a nested routes for example what does nested route means the child route always depends on the parent route that means for example you have a products page and once you move from products to any product details page and from there you go you are going into deep details of that product then you will have three routes one is products one is product and one is product details page all these should be lazy loaded and i want to use standalone components how we can do that okay for that sake let me go here and create a path which is empty path and i'll use something called as redirect to and i'll be using something called as products which we will be creating now and there is something called as path match and it is full now I have created my default route. Let me create one more route where the route is pointing to our products. Before this, we have used load component and load children and that load children should point to a module. In this case, we don't have any modules. So how to point to that products and how you, we can navigate the user from one place to another place without any module. So now what I'll do is just I'll go here to the next tab and just I'll try to create I'll just try to create a component with standalone ng generate component and the component name is products with standalone option with skip hyphen tests because I don't want to test anything over this components let me hit enter now you have created a products component now what I'll do is here we don't have any modules then how we can load the children components so to use load children you need to have the module in modular approach but what I can do here is I'll just go into this products and inside this products let me create one file called as products hyphen routes dot ts it's a normal ts file which will export a constant which is product or products route colon it's of a type of routes and which is equivalent to my routes the route is path the route is empty because I'll be using this as a load children and I'm targeting the component directly so I'm trying to use a load component and this will be a function let me use import of dot slash products component dot done because it's a promise and we'll be getting a component that is by c dot products component now I'm done with the products routes without a module now what angular provided from angular 15 is you can use this routes as a type of module for example if i go here i don't have a module but i have routes so let me get that routes by using import statement dot slash product slash products routes and it is a callback with a promise based and you will be getting a routes file which indicates routes dot product routes save this now what will happen whenever we use products as a URL then it will go into product routes and what is the default path for this whenever you give products this is the default path and it will try to load this products component let's go here and check it out in our products component what I'll do is I'll create an array with some set of products let me give a small set of products like id1 and the name is something like milk so same type of example which i took in modular approach so let me go with two and give something like biscuits and then let me go with three where you'll be using a curd and i want to loop this and frame our ui let me go to the 
products dot component dot html and create our ui with a table table and let me use a paragraph which is something like products page and now i am creating a table inside this table i have t head inside this t head i have a tr inside this tr i have th where i'll be showing a id and let me copy this paste it and i want to show something like a name so let me copy th this or just use t body and inside this t body i have tr and inside this tr i need to have a td and this td will be equivalent to our values but before that i want to loop this star ng fur and i'm using ng fur with let product of products and here i'll be getting product dot id let me copy this td and put it over here and just use a name which is the property which is given by this array that means id and the name let me save this and just check that whether this products is loading or not let me go here there is some problem that is products actually speaking we have created a variable called as array but not products let me replace this with products let me save this and now you are able to see the ui now what i want to do is i want to add one more th which is something like actions this is actions and now let me add one more td where i'll be having a button and this button will be something like view and when the user clicks on this we'll do some set of operations for now i'll use view button so you got a view button and to align this properly i'll use something like table comma tr comma th comma td with a border of one pixel solid black and save this you can see we have a products table and inside this table when the user clicks on view i want to navigate to products slash some id and that id should also be lazy loaded so how i can use that by using a product component so let me create a product component which is again a standalone that should be inside this products so what i can do instead of creating here cd space src i'm also already in the app so i can use products and i'm inside the products now you can see here we are inside the products now what i want to do i want to create ng generate component and the name is product which is again a standalone and i don't want to create any spec files so skip tests enter so this will create a product component with a standalone again i don't have any module for this so what i'll do i'll create product dot routes dot ts or just use product hyphen routes and this file should export a constant variable that is product routes which is a routes type and which is equivalent to an array where you will be getting a path and this is default path where you can use load component and this component should lo load component so we will be having a callback function with an import statement where you can import dot slash product component which will have a promise based inside this promise based i'll get c dot c c dot product component and save this now this is our product route and how it should be configured whenever the user clicks on the view i need to transfer an id from here to products slash id something like this id is one so it should be product slash one if i click on two product slash two so dynamic value i should get so how can i get that let me go into app routing and you can see here we are going into products so i want products so let me go into product routes and here this indicates a products route because it is followed by the previous one and let me create one more path which indicates a dynamic value so colon id and i want to load the children why because i have one more type of module but not exactly the module i have a file where it has a collection of routes so dot slash product slash product routes dot then and it acts like a module let me use m dot product route and whenever there is products slash id then it will go into products route let me go into this route and let me hit this so it went here now whenever it comes here it is followed by two parents that means you will be getting from app 
you will be getting products and from products you will be getting a id and whenever it gets an id it will reach your product component so inside your product component what i'll do is just i'll add one constructor inside this constructor let me add a private variable where you will be using activated route which is of type activated route and inside this let me create one id id colon any and you will be getting an id here this dot activated route dot snapshot dot params dot id and this should be assigned to this dot id so you will be getting an id over here let me copy this and go into html here you can see this is my product so let me use that product hyphen and i want to show the id of that product let me save this now these are standalone we are loading these components by using load component and we are injecting one route with another route without any module so let me go to the browser and just you are seeing a products route when i click this nothing happening because we didn't wrote that logic so let me go into products component dot html and here let me write a click event so how to write a click event in this fashion we can write a click event and i want to navigate to product and i want to send product dot id and this is navigate to product let me copy this go to your ts and here let me write a id like id colon any just i'll receive some id and let me use our router service how to use that router service constructor private router which is of type router service and let me go here and use this dot router service dot navigate is a method which will accept an array and this array will have products and a dynamic id so that it will go into products with an id and it will launch your product page let me go here click on this you can see product one and go back product two and go back product three so even without any modules we are able to have the nested routes in our application with standalone approach so let me revise this if you go here app routing app routing contains a products and this products should be followed with other routes so that such routes instead of module i am just creating the routes here now it has a previous value that is products and whenever it is a products this component will be loaded and the products followed by id this component will be loaded and this has some separate routes and inside these routes we have something called as product component which is loaded by using load component so let me go here and let's check our lazy loading as well let me go into the source let me zoom it and if you load this now we have only loaded products if you open this in app products you are able to see only products but when i click on this now product is loaded on demand basis that means they are lazy loaded now this lazy loading happened with the nested routes in standalone approach without using modules so that is how you can use your lazy loading and nested routes configuration in your standalone approach hope you like my explanation if you like my video like share subscribe to my channel for more updates signing off thank you